action. <laughs> Next on Survival Science, Nick Munt and Laura Shearer take on one of the most powerful land animals to ever walk the planet, the mighty grizzly. Using sophisticated technology and bone-jarring tests, Back off. <laughs> they reveal just how powerful these animals are. Then, they explore a remarkable survival story that pits one man and his bow against one of these savage killers. Welcome to Survival Science. Today we're gonna to get down and ugly with one of America's toughest predators. That's right, today's episode is all about bears, specifically grizzly bears, and the strength, power, and speed of these enormous animals. They're considered one of North America's most dangerous predators, and for hunters and fishermen, though a slight risk, it is still a dangerous one. That's right, since the turn of the century, there's been 23 deaths attributed to grizzly or brown bear attacks, which raises the question, what makes grizzly bears so dangerous? And today, we're gonna to put that to the test. We're gonna see just what the speed and power of a grizzly bear does to the human body. Hmm, you ready for that? No, yes. Well, let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> grizzly bears are among the strongest land animals on the planet. A full-grown male can weigh up to 800 pounds and stand as tall as eight feet. Bears kill by tackling their prey and pounding them with their powerful forearms, razor-sharp claws, and crushing jaws. In a typical grizzly, muscles account for more than 60% of the animal's mass. That's similar to the mass ratio of a bodybuilder. To mimic that kind of strength, we brought in stunt coordinator Brandon and his team to rig up a pneumatic ratchet. And of course, everybody knows that pneumatic means it's run off of compressed air, right? Of course we know. Yeah. <laughs> a pneumatic air ratchet uses pressurized gas to pull steel cables. I'm coming at you. And create a powerful catapult. The explosive system must be carefully tested before it's hooked up to a human being. No, yep, good. all good. Go. We've conferred with the team and we've got a figure of 2,200 pounds per square inch of force of the bear coming in and hitting a human being. Test data will be collected by a device called a slam stick attached to our human subject. Don't do it, I don't think you should do it. Hey, I do all my own stunts. Climbing a tree stand is not stunt work. <laughs> yes it is. Hey no, Nick, what you got not. there? Just we don't know, a straight for, jacket? Getting ready for the uh, stunt, boys. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's on backwards. <laughs> might it's, her, wanna, it's her fault. Might want to take that off. <laughs> All right. Look, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I think we're going to let Solomon take the ratchet yes. on this one. Nice. I do have something planned for you, though. Okay. For this test, the air ratchet will simulate a direct hit by a charging grizzly. We've assumed the bear weighs 500 pounds and is running at 30 miles per hour. How is Solomon going to survive this? Tough. That's why it's not bad. Tensioning up. Best of luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We are clear. On go. Three, two, one. Go. Oh! That's all you good? good? All right. Man, that was awesome. How did that feel? <laughs> good, super good. Nice job. So any pain? Any pain? No, no pain. You feel like you could survive that if that was a grizzly bear? Uh, I don't know. Anything that could hit me that hard to cause me to fly back that fast? You'd have some kind of broken ribs, bones, something. I imagine, yeah. You're not getting up after that. At impact, Solomon experiences nearly six Gs. That's equivalent to going from a dead stop to 100 miles per hour in less than a second. Go. And about twice what a space shuttle astronaut experiences at launch. Well, better you than me, man. So Wait a minute, is it your job. turn? Yeah, we're not out of this yet. Oh, I thought you guys were cutting me we're off. We're just getting oh, yeah. started. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> 
All right, Nick, as promised, we got the stunt for you. Oh, yes. That's a nervous laugh. Yeah, it is, it is. So we saw what Solomon did. Biggest difference is that you're going to be hand pulled. So it's going to be two people behind you on the line that are going to be pulling you out, as opposed to the pneumatic ratchet, which we had before. Right. That said, this is still going to be quite a pull. This is right. something we use for film and television all the time. This test will simulate a swat by a grizzly's forearm, the strongest front limb of any animal in the world. So yeah. what I'd like to try with you is to add a little bit more um, performance to it. Okay. So you're going to get hit by a bear. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Obviously, in bear acting, I have full confidence that you're going to nail that. I've got it. I've got it. But yeah, I'll regards, bring out the claws. Yes, bring out the claws. Yeah. <laughs> you can start, you know, bear acting if you feel comfortable bear acting already. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to give an action. On the action, you look scared. You look terrifying. And we're going to walk back and do the attack. OK. All right. Bear, are you ready? I'm ready. Nick, are you scared? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, you set? Yeah. Let's do this. And action. <laughs> Nick Munt is about to feel the power of a grizzly bear's forearm, thanks to some aggressive behavior from Laura Shira. Guys, you set? Let's do this. Ready? And action. Ah! And cut. Good job, guys. Good job. Yay! Excellent bear action. Yeah! All right. Excellent terrified All right. action. Good pull, boys. Nick was already in motion when the hand pull added around 500 pounds to his retreat. He flew nearly 10 feet. Nick actually got off easy. One swipe of a grizzly's paw can easily kill a wolf or a mountain lion and has been known to decapitate an elk. That was pretty good. Yeah. Scariest yes. bear I've ever encountered. Hey, <laughs> hey, easy, easy. A bear's skull is wrapped with thick cords of muscle, which allow these massive animals to bite down with a force of 1,200 pounds per square inch. To demo this raw power, our team has built hardened steel grizzly jaws, complete with stainless steel teeth. Laura, we have our bear. That's right, we have our grizzly bear jaws of terror. Yeah. Named Charlie. That's right. Let's start crushing things. All right. All right. We've got this pump here. It's a hydraulic pump. Obviously, it's hooked up to Charlie, our bear. Yes. And so what we're going for is 1,200 pounds per square inch of pressure, Woo, otherwise like known as PSI. All right. Safety glasses. Safety glasses. Okay. So let's start with the things that bears really love. They like love apples. apples. Yeah, Yay. get in there. Let's get in here with an apple. Okay. All right, Be Charlie. careful now. Those open, teeth are sharp. Open wide. <laughs> okay, ready? Hang on. Here we go. All right. 1,200 pounds per square inch of pressure. Oh, oh baby. Piece of cake. Next. Let's try something a little more rigid. What is that? Oh, it's a just, bug. It's a weed. Oh. There you go. Okay. Okay. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Applying pressure. <laughs> Keep pumping. Oh! Holy! Okay, pretty <laughs> right, gnarly what's right next? there. I love it. I love okay, it. let's go with a oh two boy. by four. Okay. And here we go. Here we go. You got this thing. You got it. You got it. Put some muscle in there. <laughs> Where's T bone when I need him? Exactly. <laughs> that sounds Are like a baby. Are you calling turkeys right now? Is this what you sound like? Ba baby monkey. <laughs> Smokes. Steel. Okay. Steel is a lot harder. Watch your fingers. Oh, oh just yeah. barely dented. Steel has a little bit more safety when it comes to a big grizzly. So if you're going to go hunting, wear a steel suit. Yeah, I mean, that's easy yeah, to do. Yeah, so All right, now, well, let's get to the real thing. For the grand finale, this is a big, nice bone. And it's real bone. That's right. All right, I'm going to back up. Here we up. go. Oh, Lord. Woo! Oh, oh, my God. Woo! 
Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. You can smell it. Are you kidding me? Wow. That was cool. That wow. blew up pretty heavy. That's scary. Yeah, definitely I think the moral of this whole thing is that unless you're made out of steel, if a grizzly bear gets a hold of you, his jaws are so powerful, he can rip you limb from limb, break your bones, and inflict some major damage. All right, well, on that note, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Run for your life. Nick Munt races with death. So Laura, we've studied the power and strength of the grizzly, and we've seen how far it can throw me in a possible attack. We've also looked at its jaws. But there's another part to this equation. That's right, so there's a couple other things that make this animal so powerful, including its four inch long razor sharp claws, but also its speed. That's right, when you look at a grizzly, you think this thing's kind of chubby and lumbering, it's a fuzzy, goofy looking animal that just doesn't look very fast. But the truth is, grizzly bears have been clocked at over 35 miles an hour. So how do we test that, Laura? Well, maybe you should just try to race a grizzly. And you've got a grizzly in your pocket. No, but I've got one with a speedometer. <laughs> like my new ride? All right, looks good. Well, guess who's driving? Fuzzy. Me. No, me. Okay, and what do I do? You're running. Okay. <laughs> you ready? So I actually get to race a grizzly. Absolutely. Hope All it'll right. run you over. I better stretch, let's go. <laughs> a bear can run 50 yards in about three seconds. Laura's car will match that speed, so we can see how a human stacks up against a grizzly. Nick, you ready for this? Yeah, I see what you're talking about, fangs and teeth. Are you talking about my gas-powered grizzly or me? <laughs> you. Mm-hmm. Well, I really don't think you have a fighting chance, so yeah. I'm gonna give you a little head start. Okay, that probably, yeah, that's good. All right? All right. Okay, on your mark, get set, run for your life. Nick started fast, accelerating quickly to over 18 miles per hour. But even with his one and a half second head start, he was caught by the bear in just four and a half seconds. Over a short distance, a bear can outrun a racehorse. Nick would have been in the clutches of the grizzly in less than 30 yards. Well, I think it's safe to say that I'm not gonna try to outrun a grizzly bear. Yeah, it's not that easy, but I'm a little past my prime, so well, you know, give me a break. I mean, not to throw you under the bus. I mean, the bear, but you're just kind of an average athlete, Nick. <laughs> That's why we have a pro athlete here. <laughs> We've got our friend Reggie Wyatt, and Reggie is a four-time All-American at USC and former NCAA 400-meter hurdles champion. So Reggie, welcome to Survival Science, and we're gonna put you to the test. Are you ready to race a grizzly bear? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Okay, Reggie, you ready to go? Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one. Run for your life! Gonna get it! Reggie exploded out of the blocks, and Laura's bear car couldn't keep pace. He reached 25 miles per hour within four seconds. The car isn't as fast as a real bear, so it took 50 yards to reach 35 miles per hour and finally overtake Reggie. Well, Reggie, that was close, but no cigar. Yeah, I don't think people really have an idea of how fast a grizzly bear really is. What'd you think about it? I got the top speed that I had him, but he got me in the end. Yeah, they're super fast, and there's just no way the average hunter with all the gear and everything is gonna outrun a grizzly. I mean, even world-class athletes like Reggie and I had a tough time beating the grizzly, so it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, world-class athlete, huh, Nick? <laughs> well, I think the takeaway from all this is that you just don't ever wanna try to outrun a grizzly bear. That's right. Not gonna happen. No human being is faster than a grizzly, uphill or downhill. 
and trying to run away will only encourage a bear to chase you. Experts say always be prepared with bear spray. Coming up, Nick and Laura try to perform a miracle. Since 2000, 23 outdoorsmen have been killed by either grizzlies or brown bears. Now, there's a greater chance that you might be struck by lightning. However, they do still pose a dangerous threat in the backcountry. One crazy story happened in 2008 in Wyoming's backcountry. Two hunters were in the woods. They were attacked by a grizzly bear. And it is an amazing story. Ron Lemming and his son, Ron Jr., were bow hunting for elk in northwestern Wyoming. Ron Jr. was on top of a hill calling elk, while Ron Sr. positioned himself at the bottom, hoping to get a shot as an elk was lured in. Then, suddenly, a grizzly appeared behind Ron Jr. His ears went flat, and he came straight at me at full speed. When I saw that bear behind him, the very first thing that I thought of, just for a split second, I was holding him when he was a little tiny baby. And then my next thought was that bear's gonna maul my son. I just thought I have to do something and shoot the bear with the bow was the only thing I could think of. I saw my dad draw his bow back. I heard his bow go off and I seen a flash of an arrow go right by my leg. It appeared the arrow had completely missed the target. Ron Jr. was soon run down by the speeding bear and mauled. The bear pinned me down. Ron Sr. rushed in, and the grizzly turned away from Ron Jr. They thought the bear was about to attack a new target. And then about that time, he turned around and just walked right down the hill and fell over. The bear wasn't moving. We, we figured he was dead. Incredibly, the arrow had pierced the grizzly's heart the blood covering Ron Jr. actually belonged to the dying bear. This story is so amazing that we decided it deserved its own test just to see how good of an archer Ron Sr. really was. That's right, and we've got our bear rig here and our friend Chris from Riverside Archery. He's hooked us up with his bear target and the zip line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back this bear up the hill and we're gonna try to replicate the exact shot that Ron Sr. made on this bear. This thing's gonna be going between 20 and 30 miles an hour I'm gonna to try to make the lethal shot at about 20 to 30 feet. So we'll see what happens. This thing's heavy. I know, keep pulling, Chris. It's my first day. <laughs> During our first tests, we clocked the bear at about 30 miles per hour. Make sure everything's good. Twist Twist that on place. straight. Make sure his head's screwed on straight. All right. So as he comes down the hill, I'm just gonna to try to slip a shot right in the angle Ron Sr. shot the bear at anywhere in this area here or even right underneath the chin to get right up in the front. That's where the heart sits. It's right in between the front legs and kind of sits right down on the bottom of the brisket. So you ready, Nick? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, well, good luck. You gotta get up there. You gotta help release the bear. That's part of the science of it. You gotta well, that, be up that there. That makes a lot of sense. So then I can stand there while you shoot my direction. After I kill the bear, you won't have to worry about it. This, Just go. This is making Come no on. sense. You'll so you have to promise me you're not gonna shoot this bear I won't until shoot you. it's like, 10 feet I promise, in front of you. I promise I'll shoot the bear and not you. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'll remember this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the bear has to pass this bush before you release that arrow. Okay, run to the right. You're right. You're left. My right. That yeah. way. You're like, run this way, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You don't understand how hard I'm going to push this bear down the hill right now? I can't hear you. Something right there, dude. Good shot, man. Nice work. Right in the heart. Right, right in, the heart. in the heart. I'm pretty is a tough proud. Shot. Yeah. It is a tough shot. The thing's moving fast. You got the head covering most of the vitals, so I just kind of had to wait for that perfect moment and slip it in there. Obviously, it got him a little bit in the cheek, but I think that would have been hair on a real bear. And to duplicate that shot, you know, I don't have any even anywhere near the variables that he had. You know, he's got his boy running in front of the bear. He's got all the adrenaline pumping. He had to 
draw the bow, make the shot, you know, and to do that on this is a little different because I'm not in any danger. I can jump out of the way at any moment. He had to make the shot, and he did make the shot. I think we call that a miracle for him. Definitely. And a definitely. good shot for you. Thank you. Nice work. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that one. Yeah. yeah. Wow, <laughs> well, that about does it for this episode of Survival Science. And Laura, do you have a newfound respect for grizzly bears? I always knew these animals were amazingly powerful, but to see their strength put into perspective, it's a little shocking. Plus, it was kind of fun to watch you squirm and run. <laughs> yeah, the speed is just amazing. And you could never outrun one of these bears. I guess that's why they always tell you, do not run from a grizzly bear if he's going to attack you. You just can't get away. You're not going to survive that's it. That's right. Well, that wraps it up for this episode. So join us next time as we put nature to the test on survival science. You ready to shoot some more? Let's do it. OK, let's All go. Right.